What is a Levine's test? Levine's test tests the hypothesis that the variances are equal in different groups. The aim is to determine whether the variances in different groups are significantly different from each other. The hypotheses for Levine's test are as follows. The null hypothesis is the variances of the groups are equal. And the alternative hypothesis is at least one of the groups has a different variance. When is Levine's test most commonly used? Levine's test is most often used to test assumptions for another hypothesis test. What does that mean? Let's say your hypothesis is there is a difference between two medications in terms of perceived pain relief. To test this hypothesis, you've collected data. Now, to test the hypothesis based on your data, you use a hypothesis test such as a t-test. Many hypothesis tests have the assumption that the variances in each group are equal. And this is where Levine's test comes in. It tells us whether this assumption is fulfilled or not. How is a Levine's test calculated? Here's an example. We want to know if there is a significant difference in variance between these groups. First, we simply calculate the mean of each group. Then, we subtract the respective group mean from each person. The amount of each value is now formed so that the negative values become positive. From these new values, the group mean can now be calculated again. The larger the group mean, the greater the variance within each group. Thus, there is a smaller variance in this group than in that group. In addition, we can calculate the total mean value. Now we can calculate the square deviations of the group means from the overall mean and sum them up. And then we can calculate the square deviation of the individual values from the respective group mean and add them up. We can now compare the two calculated sums. And that is exactly what Levine's test does. The test statistic of Levine's test is obtained with this equation. N is the number of cases, and I the number of cases in the ith group, ZI is the mean value of the ith group, Z is the overall average, ZIJ is the respective value in the groups, and K is the number of groups. The calculated test statistic L is equal to the F statistic. Therefore, with the F value and the degrees of freedom, the P value can be calculated. The degrees of freedom result with number of groups minus 1 and number of cases minus number of groups. If the P value is greater than 0.05, the null hypothesis that the variances are equal is not rejected. Thus, equality of variance can be assumed. If you use DataTab, and calculate an analysis of variance, you can find Levine's test under Test Assumptions. In an independent t-test, you will find Levine's test at the bottom of the results. If equality of variance is not given, you can use the t-test for unequal variance. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.